Hello, friends. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. <laughs> so, this is what happens when you're going to the beach and you don't want to take your cocoon curl set out yet. <laughs> you keep them in and keep wearing your hat and keep it moving. I was going to wear so, the hat anyway. I was going to wear the hat anyway, exactly. Oh. I kept the set in and I got the hat on, which I wear every day to the beach because it's hot. Although it's very late in the day. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So, actually no, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon. So, it's already very late in the day. But, I have the set in because I did it kind of damp last night. It wasn't on wet hair. It was on hair that I, well, I guess I kind of spritzed it. But I haven't washed it. I just refreshed it. So, I didn't want to take them down today anyway. Especially not just to go to the beach. Who wants to get in the water with freshly styled hair and potentially get it wet up. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just thought I'm going to go ahead and style my hair and moisturize it and there's somebody walking my face. Oh! <laughs> Since I had to moisturize it anyway, I might as well put it in a set, right? So I have the cocoon curls and are we going to town today? Mm -hmm. If we go to town today, then I might take them out. I might leave it like this and just take them out tomorrow. We'll see. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all because this hat is going everywhere with me and it is now concealing my freshly set hair. Okay, guys, the last time we were here, we rented a boat. Actually, somebody rented it for us and we went to a special place on the island for Kalani's birthday and that's the boat we went on. Your birthday boat. It's called the Vesela. They were really excited when they saw it. It's the guy who lives in town. There's lots of local boats that will take you places for a fee. And we went to a special restaurant further along the island on that day that you can't get to driving. You can only get to by sailing. And it's here at our beach. The owner's probably taking a swim. What a life, right? If you're not chartering your little boat, then you go for a swim. <laughs> Belly did not to look a different way. What you got? Watermelon. Watermelon makes everything better. The beach is crowded today. We're here. This is crowded. Today there's no boobs out. So, I'm sorry y'all if I had watermelon on my face. <laughs> well, I was talking at first. Um, oh, yeah, today there's no boobs out. There is. Grown up boobs. Where? Right there. No, they're not out. She's just sunbathing laying down. Um, Don't worry, Josh will find him. <laughs> so I haven't been recording. For one thing, because I'm not going to record somebody half naked on the beach. But for another thing, because we're really doing the same thing every day. This is the first day we're enjoying watermelon. But it's a much better treat than ice cream. It's a much better treat than ice cream, you're right. But, um, but we've been at the beach literally. about the wind guys. I don't think I've ever shown you guys the way up to I don't think I've ever shown you guys the way up to our holiday apartment. We're coming back from the beach. There's the guy. Here is oh there's the two. <laughs> with the purple lips because she's been in the water for hours so this is the way up to the above mount girl <laughs> there's a lower level and we thought that the lady who owned it lived here but I think she might not but I think her daughter or grandson or somebody lives upstairs we live oh is that what she said no, I observed. oh okay She's going again. Okay. So I don't know what this one is. This downstairs one here, she comes to and she fries us fish and washes our laundry and stuff in there. And we live up here on the middle level. They're all waiting for me to open the door. 
The Royal, yeah, I can talk the Royal door opens. I don't really have anything to say right now. I'm kind of tired. Yes, my phone. Why are you tired, honey? Because I only had like three and a half hours sleep no, last night. You are. Okay. Walk in the front door and there's a skip go skip bowl game that's <laughs> not finished yet. It does. Hey, honey. Hey. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay, I hope you can hear me that the wind isn't too strong right now. But we are at a pizzeria that we like coming to since we've been here. And it's called um, Pizzeria Marin. They are super cool. We came here the last time we were here and the guy was really nice. We kind of clicked with him and he saw us again when we came back and was like, yeah, he remembered us. Um, yeah, he remembered us from two years ago. That was a really cool feeling. Um, so we don't have internet in our apartment, as I've told you before. Thank you so much. So we come here to use the computer and to do all of our Wi-Fi stuff here and a couple of other cafes in town. We're going to make our round. And um, Marin, the owner, just came by and was like, like he told the server, um, the kids, these two kids each get a free ice cream, each get an ice cream, and this couple gets a. Close back. Close back. Close back. Close back. Close on the back. house. Um, which is a kind of chilled sweet wine. And it's so good. And look at these two. Look at these <laughs> Are you grateful? Yes. So the guy. The guy who just went by when I was when I was um, filming, and I said thank you to him. That's the owner. His name is Marion. This is Pizzeria Marion. I think it's a family room, like his whole family works here. And um, just so you see the view from where we're sitting, that's the view. <laughs> Are you hating us? Don't hate us. Um, that's the view, and it's just kind of where we are right now. We'll be going to guess where? The beach later on today. <laughs> We're we'll doing that again. Time in the road. Yep. Our days consist of <clears throat> getting up, going to the beach, coming to town to use the internet, and eating. Um, in not in that order necessarily, maybe in that order. But yeah, that's what we are doing right now. So right now I am commenting on some YouTube videos, Venetia. <laughs> you guys know. Um, what is your YouTube name? African export and Eric is doing emails. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. So we're running to the pharmacy to get something really quickly. I don't know how it look, but anyway, that's what we're doing. Then we're gonna head to a cafe for internet, and then to the beach. Um, there's some sunbathe, some bikini clad people watching me, and some other people at the cafe watching me. So I'm getting used to this. Okay, we're out of the pharmacy now. I, I had to turn you off abruptly there, sorry. What I was saying was that there were a couple of beach goers walking by. This town is, is really just a beach town. So I think it's actually like a little fishing village. So there are always people walking by in bathing suits. Um, that could totally be Cade, the one in the back. That could totally be Cade. Oh my gosh. Our nephew, Kate, if you're watching this, we see this kid, they could totally be you. Not quite tall enough. Not quite tall enough, but the one in the red bathing suit. That could totally be you, Kate. If you're here, we still died. I have an awesome nephew, guys. Okay, that's the end of that. So now we're gonna go try to find a cafe. Hey guys, well, it has been an eventful day weather-wise today, really eventful, eventful. And I just came back from a cafe, um, letting everybody know that even though there were forest fires going on in Croatia, that we are not in the area where they are and we're safe. <clears throat> we're sitting here on our patio and we watched, we were watching the lightning, and lightning hit this hill across from us. And about what, five minutes later, three five minutes later, yeah, yeah. the smoke started rising up. So we told our hostess, who then called the fire brigade. And about five minutes after that, we heard them heading out of town. Yep, that's... <laughs> Kalani. Thank you. That's uh, the town there, and they kind of headed into the hills. That, well, they headed around the back side of the town. On the other side of this hill is where there's um, a school and houses, some houses. But m mainly the hill is like this, trees on the other side. As of right now, though, um, 
there's not much going down. We've been hearing, I don't know, you guys may have seen on the news, maybe you haven't, but we've been hearing the, um, what do they call it? The water planes, the, the fire planes that put out fires and helicopters flying over for the last two days because there's fires in different parts of the country and even on this island, but at a different part of the island. Um, but it was weird. We were just sitting here, just kind of hanging out, watching the storm and totally saw that strike. So um, hopefully they'll get up there and evaluate it and be able to put it out. So guys, there's some people who are staying in the apartment below us now. Just getting them going down the hill here. I feel bad for them. They, um, so you know there are fires around Croatia right now. And they were just on an island that had fires all over it. So they came here. They came here to Pachista to get away from the fires. And we're like, this is the first day it's raining, thundering and lightning, and there's fire here. So I think they just kind of went down to the beach to get their minds off of it. It's really cloudy. This is the first day we haven't gone to the beach. But um, there's a little cove down here below us. So that might be where they're going. Feel bad for those folks. They're like, we wanted to get away from the fires. Hey guys. So we decided to come across the bay to see this fire a little bit more closely. Our apartment is over there where we're staying, along in that area over, over there. And we came out to see there's town down here. And there is the fire. See right there. Oh, it smells horrible over here. It smells like fire. I was about to say that. Those ones on the ground might be the ones they lit. I don't know. I'm just totally theorizing. I don't know. But at any rate, that's crazy. I've never seen a lightning strike actually. I've never seen a fire that actually started from the lightning strike that, that we saw. That's my second exit. And... Oh yeah, I bet we could beat the smoke Our the house house. is over in that cluster over there. Right above that little coldy bit. The, the section of buildings on the right is where we're staying. Wait, let me try to focus that a bit for you. Yeah, the section on the right is where we're staying. So apparently further on the island, further away, kind of that way, there's a fire somewhere. There was um, earlier today or yesterday or something but hasn't affected us at all. I don't think this one's really gonna affect us either. Um, it's just interesting, because you know what, what all happens here, there's not a whole lot that happens in this town except yachts coming in and sailboats coming in and people going to the beach. So the locals are all kind of coming out. They wanna see what's going on. Like there's people stopped along the road. We can see from our apartment, the car stopped along the road. <laughs> so we were like, we're gonna be spectators too. Okay guys, we're back home now. We drove the three minutes back to um, close up our windows because we saw the smoke coming across the water this direction. And you can see that it's pretty much out over there. And, here Josh, can you pick up? Would you believe that in the time that it took for us to get back home and get in here, our house is smoky! <laughs> I'm like, we can't get away from this smoky house. <laughs> Our house in Jerusalem finally was mostly unsmoky, desmokified when we left. We got back here, we walked in the door and we're like, because we left all the windows open when we went over, just over there. Oops. Just over there above those houses on that road. I don't know if you can see that road there. There. We went over there on that road to look. The people are still there. I can still see the people where we were actually. Cars moving around. Yeah, the motorcycles just driving away now where we were. <laughs> to get from there to here, literally, it really took us like three minutes. If that. Maybe. And in the time that we were there, our house got smoky. Not even that long because we watched the smoke shift this direction. No, okay. Now, there's like not any smoke anymore at all. So they've clearly gotten it taken care of. I mean, that what, whatever was going on over there has gotten dealt with. Come on, he's trying to figure out what movie we're going to watch tonight. Meanwhile, Me. I've stalled for two days. But this. And cats and dogs. Can you see this? Matted, chunky braid. 
funny. Look at this. So you can't find it anywhere here, right? <laughs> you can't find it. Anywhere, I've right? got to detangle this, guys. Oh, help it, Jesus. 